And good morning, everybody. This is Mike with Mornings with Mike. And this is Becca Man Charles, backing him up the whole way. And uh, it is great to be back, guys. Season 3, first episode of the Season 3, so I guess you call it, says, so what, S1, E1, Season 3, Episode 1? S3, E1. E1. As um, always, guys, we want to start the show off with some good news. Charles, hit us with some good news, man. Good news, good news. Well, as we knew going into like the end of Season 2, my daughter was on the way. Happy. Very, Starting very. Season 3. Very exciting. She's here. So, there go. Season 3, there's going to be a lot of babies in the middle. <laughs> so, that is some good news. Charles' baby is here. You guys got a name? Mercedes Murray. Mercedes. You know, they say you always name your first child after something you really want, but you can never afford, so... <laughs> I, I didn't I didn't know that, but okay. <laughs> it's a joke. It's a joke. <laughs> oh, sorry and shit. Now. Ready? Alright, alright, alright. So, for our first episode, it's Don't Be That Guy Thursday. Monday. Monday. Why do I think? Don't be that good. All right. Uh, either way, the theme days are throwing me off a little bit. Don't okay. be that dude. Don't be that dude. Monday. <laughs> By the way, guys, look down in the description. We have T-shirts for "Don't be that dude." Don't be that dude T-shirts. I gotta get me one. I gotta wear one, Mike. I gotta have it because I don't want to be that dude. Well, Charles, "Don't be that dude" is very, very special and dear to our heart. So we're gonna start every week off with just some stories of uh, people being. That guy. That dude. What is the proper term that, that we want to use? Like, we don't want to call them retards, because that's, that's politically in, like incorrect. Hmm. Can, can we call it trumping? Is, trumping. That, is that what it is? Like, you're, you're being a trump? No, that's a little no, too no. political. We'll yeah. get in trouble. Um, um, don't be a... Bu no. Uh, <laughs> don't be a bush? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, um, uh, don't be that dude. Don't be that dude. Don't be that dude. Charles, you get the first ever don't be oh, that God. dude, man. Hit first us. Ever. Hit us with the don't be that dude. So, as you know, I work in retail. What? I deal with that dude a lot. The other night at work, we had lines at every register. It's 9 o'clock at night, and I'm talking 10 people deep on every register. That's how he likes them. We have deep. this guy with a cart full of crap decide. This line has five people in it. I'm going to cut to the front real fast. He cuts in front of five people and he just stands there like oh I'm next yeah cool so me a couple other people we go up we talk to him like sir can't cut the line oh no no I was already here we're like sir no dude come on now you, we, we seen you <laughs> like don't come on don't don't try this don't, don't be that dude this. man come on now and he kept arguing with us that he was in line the whole time we're trying to be nice we're trying to be polite we're trying to keep it calm level down to earth the cashier's even trying to like go to the next person while we're distracting this dude and talking. We're like, sir, you just got to get back in line. Like, you can't do that. Like, don't be that guy. Come on, please. He kept arguing and arguing. And then at the very end, like, we finally ran through all five of the people in her line. That was wicked thunder. That was loud. <laughs> we get him now situated. And he goes, well, I don't see why I had to wait. And we're like, well, sir, it's just, you know, common sense. You were cutting the line. <laughs> no, I wasn't. I was here the whole time. We're like, sir, we have the photo like the camera like you really want us to have to do do you guys have a number we can call he calls the 800 number and tries complaining that he cut the line he literally said in his <laughs> statement i cut the line and i was told i cut the line uh, don't be that dude that cuts a line at a store it, it, so actually that uh you remember that show uh like the hidden camera shows like when they do that stupid shit you know oh yeah uh, just to see people's reactions yeah yeah, yeah like see if people will actually say some 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 something yeah uh, I'm really surprised no, nobody in line didn't say anything. Oh, the one dude looked like he was about to. Like, I mean, his face was beat <laughs> red. He was about because he had he had like four items. Right. And he was like about to start screaming. I looked up and was like, "How about, dude? I got you. Stay down. I got you. I got you. I got your back." Because we're not that dude. Yeah, we're not that dude. I I'm willing to wait in line. It's not <laughs> my fault. He decided to wait till nine o'clock at night to come out to a store that he knew was going to be packed. Well, at the same time, I mean, in his defense, Lowe's. Like, sorry. Closes at 9 o'clock. I'm, like, I'm assuming. We close at 10. 10, 10 o'clock. Okay. So, I mean, you can say that about the 30 other people that, 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 are, that are in line. Hey, 
yeah. the motherfuckers wait until nine o'clock to come here. So yeah. it's kind of like when a restaurant closes like at ten, and you walk there at nine fifty and expect like proceed ser service. When I worked in a restaurant, <laughs> I used to walk, walk out and slap people that did that. So at Pizza Hut, like when I worked in high school. Like, we got in trouble because we locked the doors at 9.45 because we closed at 10. Mm -hmm. I'm like, man, I haven't had a customer in an hour, man. Like, Oh, yeah. And you're going to walk in at 9.57. I had to turn back on the ovens. Yep. I have to grease pan some more. Oh, man, I was... Uh, yep, don't miss those days at all. So, guys, don't, don't be, be that, that guy, that, that dude, dude, that dudette. Whatever word that describes them, don't be them. Don't be that dude. <laughs> Now we need to look into don't be that dudette or something for the women. <laughs> don't want to be a little sexist here. <laughs>